WTFNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of very pleasant and sunny, a bit hot out there, but Delray Beach, Florida, with your 2 p.m. update. And currently we have a slightly mixed bag. The semis still trying to hold on to their gains. They're up one penny. Other, the other indices are trading the downside. The Dow off 350, S&P down 47, NASDAQ about 85 points, Russell's off 17, Trannies are off 255, Gold's off 45 bucks, Silver's down 43 cents, Lights we crude up 77 pennies, Natural Gas up 23 cents, a 30-year Treasury trade out at 139.14, that's off one point and eight ticks. Let's go spend a little time with our indice charts, although they are ugly out here, so I don't know if you really want to spend too much time with them. And when I mean by ugly, we're going to see uh, very few in the way of of bottoming signals out here. If you take a look at the Dow, no bottoming pattern out here. We expand out the chart. What's the Dow doing? The Dow is going to go target its February 24th low. That February 24th low is 32,272. That should be its target. It may take it out. And that could create a gigantic A to B equals CD to the downside. Let's cross that bridge when we get there. The S&P 500 is trading below that March 24th low out there. So that's not a good thing. And there's no bottoming signal in play out here. Now there's an A to B equals CD to downside. It needs a bullish reversal candle to confirm that bottoming signal. But on Friday, that uh, bottoming signal failed. That was a three-word morning star, and price just sliced right through that. So the S&P 500 is not looking very good. If you take a look at the NDX 100, no bottoming signal here as well. The Russell is going to form bar number eight of a TD9 count today, and the New York Stock Exchange is also. Those are the only two uh, indices with potential signals out here. Otherwise, it looks pretty horrible. If we go from the daily charts here, we've got the opportunity to go from the daily to the weekly. The weekly charts don't look a whole lot better. Now, the Dow Jones is approaching a bullish hammer candle. If price closes below that, that's from that week of uh, February 24th out there. Uh, that would then suggest to move to 3014. The S&P is trading below its bullish hammer candle and trading below a breakout level of support at 4164. If it ends the week like this position, it's talking about moving to 3819. The NASDAQ 100 it closed below the bottom of its uh, TD9 count and bullish hammer candle. That suggests an A to B equals CD downside and a target of 10957. Weekly chart for the Russell, targeting 1540C. It looks pretty ugly out there, doesn't it? Monthly charts, well, folks, I'll put those up on the screen here where we've got about 10 seconds. You'll see that they don't look any better. The Russell, though, interesting enough, does show a TD9 count bottom pattern that could form in the month of May. Folks, stay tuned. Favorite polar bears up next. Have a magical Monday. We'll see you on the